At this point in time, we're discussing with the authorities what exactly it is and how they are going to be implemented in the next several weeks. I think it's important, indeed, you fly to a country, you follow the rules of that country, so we will implement them. In terms of the U.S., you say it's important, but is the yield there? Is the money-making capacity? Or is the U.S. now becoming so much lower end? Oh, no, we, we operate together with Delta. So we have our joint venture with Delta on the, on the U.S. side, and then we have Alitalia, uh, Air France, and KLM on the European side. We offer, like, 250 flights a day connecting hundreds of city pairs across the Atlantic. So we do have an extraordinary strong position here. And we see that if you want to fly from uh, a, a small place in the U.S. to a small place in Europe, we offer the best combination. The recent cyber attack is terrifying for you yeah. as a chief exec. Sure. No, cyber, cy cyber security and cyber attacks are, are a top priority for, I, I guess, for every business and also for ours. Right, but, is it, but it's a top priority, but is it one of those responsibilities that has to remain under your watch as chief executive? You can't delegate it off. I mean, obviously, you have a head of, uh, sure. of, of security and yeah. IT, but you have to be responsible. Yeah, and, and, and I would say, so the answer is yes, and in addition, I would say, here, we have to make use of professional firms. We know how to run an airline. But for cyber security, we need to have close cooperation with, with companies who are specialized in that field. Finally, when BA fell over on its, um, on its IT systems, the one thing I do know is that no chief executive of any other airline sort of smiled and sniggered because everybody rushed to help yeah. if they could. But what did you learn from that BA experience? Well, I, w I would say that's a bit too premature. The impact was huge for BA. What the exact cause behind was and what the exact sort of sequence yeah. of the events was, I don't know. I'm sure BA is evaluating it, uh, it themselves. What it did for us is to put more emphasis in making sure that we get all these things together. And again, we are a, a company with a long history, a long, a long tradition of innovation, but we need to do it secure as well. For a company, for a company of long history and tradition and innovation, <laughs> This is hardly the most innovative digital thing, but you still give these away on board the aircraft, don't you? But it started with innovation. The, his the, the history of these houses, they were made in the 50s, when IATA, speaking about archaic rules, when IATA decided it is not allowed to make a gift to your customers. The prices were regulated, you were not allowed to give a gift. So what we did, we said, you know, it is, this is not a gift, it's a drink. There's liquor inside. It's real sorry. There's liquor inside. So it's... And it has been so successful that we never changed it. So the philosophy is still there. So when you fly with us in, 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 in Business Cabin, you get one of these houses, and we issue every year a new one. It's fantastic. And people collect so them. It started out of innovation. Right. And, but I must say innovation of 40 years ago. And finally, once again, just remind me, the full name of KLM is? Koninklijke Luchtvaartmaatschappij, Royal Dutch Airlines. Koninklijke uh, 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 Royal Dutch Airlines. Good to see you. Ah, look at them. Any regular flyer in business class of KLM will have collected one of these and it will be cluttering up your desk, your lounge, your lobby, somewhere in your house. And just to prove, uh, just in case, we'll, uh, we'll, KLM is the correct full name. Answers on a postcard.